Okay, so I'm going to show you heating up this bolt real quick, and then we're going to do a little bit of talking about what I figured out with this thing. So I stick it around this bolt. I hit the button there. Give it a few seconds. Notice I'm not touching it. I'm letting it move around a little bit. Okay, nice and hot. Look at that. Nice and red hot. So I'll unplug that a little for, so we can hear. Alright, so a couple things I figured out about using this. Notice how the insulation's burned off of this thing. The insulation burned off really, really quick. And you can't let these coils collapse and touch each other. When the coils collapse and touch each other, it shorts out the induction loop and it doesn't allow it to generate the heat that it should. It really wants to go around and around and around and the more loops that you have, theoretically, the hotter your workpiece is going to get. So if you put, this has got four and a half loops, if you put seven or eight, in theory it'd get hotter, but you know, there's a certain point where you're just going to have too many loops for it to actually generate any heat. I'm not an electrician. I'm sure there's somebody out there who could explain it better. But um, when I was using this before, it started working to get the bolt hot, but just not enough to do anything with. And then the insulation burned off and two of these coils collapsed and fused together. And I had to go pull them apart with a knife and a uh, um, rubber mallet. Kind of put the knife between them and tap it and spread them back out so there's a nice little air gap between them which provides a little bit of insulation I'd like them to be a little bit tighter but I don't want to risk them fusing together again um, <clears throat> and when you put it on your workpiece you want to kind of keep it floating you don't want to put it on the workpiece because that will allow the electrical uh, circuit to jump between the coils you want to have air space all the way around it in theory, this insulation should hold up better than it does. I understand that it gets really, really hot and it's hard to find a material that can coat those wires and keep them uh, protected at heat. But I think they could probably have found something a little bit better. Again, it's an Amazon tool. You, you, you get what you pay for. I've been able to get these two bolts hot, get them red hot, put some penetrating oil on it. I still haven't got them out yet. We're going to keep working on it couple more cycles but then it's going to be dinner time and uh, I'm going to go eat so I'm going to shut this video off throw a few more heat cycles on these things and see if I can get these two bolts out before dinner talk to you guys later